Before replacing your coolant pump, you will need to drain the coolant. Please see the link at the end of this video for additional information. This picture illustrates the front of the engine compartment. Remove the cooling fan and shroud. Please see the link at the end of this video for articles on cooling fan and shroud removal and additional instruction. You will also need to remove the accessory drive belt. Again, please see the link at the end of this video for additional instruction. Loosen the clamp on the upper radiator hose and remove the hose from the neck. Remove the water pump pulley by removing the four 10 millimeter fasteners, green arrows. Also remove the idler pulley by removing the four 10 millimeter fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. While you do not need to remove the entire alternator, you only need to remove the top mounting bolt I suggest you remove the alternator because it gives you much more room to work. Please see the link at the end of this video for further instructions. If the vehicle has cruise control, remove the three 10 millimeter fasteners, green arrows, that hold on the actuator. Use a flathead screwdriver to lever off the cruise control actuator linkage. You do not need to have to unplug the actuator simply move it out of the way. This picture illustrates the right side of the water pump. Loosen the two hose clamps for the thermostat hose and lever out the hose. Once the hose is removed, remove the two 13 millimeter fasteners as indicated by the green arrows that hold on the top of the coolant pipe. This picture illustrates the bottom of the coolant pipe. Remove the single 13 millimeter fastener, as indicated by the green arrow, that secures the bottom of the coolant pipe. Note the coolant pipe is still attached to the air pump. Push the coolant pipe ports to the right side of the car until it clears the water pump, green arrow. It will pivot off of the air pump mount. This picture illustrates the top front of the engine. Lift the wire plastic sheathing off of the throttle linkage bracket. Remove the four 5mm Allen head fasteners, green arrows, that mount the bracket to the cylinder head. You will need a long swivel 5mm Allen socket or a shortened 5mm Allen key to loosen the lower bolt, yellow arrow, on the left side of the cylinder head. If you do not have either, you will have to remove the power steering fluid reservoir. Please see the link at the end of this video for an article on power steering fluid reservoir removal. This picture illustrates the left side of the water pump. Start by removing the five 13 millimeter fasteners, green arrows, on the left and right side of the water pump. This picture illustrates the bottom of the water pump. There is one 13 millimeter fastener, green arrow, that needs to be removed. You can loosen the bolt with a wrench, but you'll not be able to pull the bolt all of the way out because it will hit the crankshaft harmonic balancer. Remove the 27 millimeter crankshaft bolt, green arrow. This will allow you to pull off the harmonic balancer and access the water pump bolt hidden behind it. You will need a special tool to secure the crankshaft pulley in place when tightening and loosening. This picture illustrates the top front of the engine looking downward. With a flathead screwdriver, loosen the clamp to the water pump hose as indicated by the green arrow. Remove the three 5mm Allen head fasteners, green arrows, that mount the bleeder screw housing. Pull the bleeder screw housing out of the cooling hose and out of the way. Remove the last 13 millimeter water pump fastener found behind the bleeder screw housing. Lift the throttle linkage bracket slightly and you can now fully remove the water pump from the engine. Clean the gasket surfaces on the timing case cover. You can use silicone or weather strip adhesive to glue the gasket either to the water pump or the timing chain cover. Installation is the reverse of removal and don't forget to refill your coolant. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.